to do? Think about that. When you ask a guest that's just showing up to your spot, can I help you? You're literally asking, can I do for you what I was hired to do by my dealership? Does that even make sense? You're hired to help every guest that comes on. But guess what? 9.9 .9 out of 10 salespeople will approach a customer and say, can I help you? And here's why people believe automotive sales folks are pushy. Because when you go and say, can I help you? And they say what? What do people say when you say, can I help you? No, I'm just doing what? I'm just, I'm just looking. looking. Now, none of you grew up together. Y'all didn't know each other before you got here. But yet, in unison, you all said, looking. Which means you all are programmed with the same exact response that they are. And your managers will tell you, especially brand, brand new, before someone leaves the lot, make sure that we shake their hand, that we get a chance to greet this person. Now, please know that that is not a disrespect to your ability, your intelligence, or to your skill. That means that being new especially, you may have missed something they may have said. You may have missed something they may have on. There may be something on their vehicle. There may be something that that manager or that seasoned rep may notice that you missed out on that will allow them to establish a connection and keep your guests there. So it's no slight on you, but here's why they see them as pushy. The management says, don't let anybody leave without us shaking their hand. And the sales rep goes and says, can I help you? And the customer says, no, I'm just looking. The sales rep says, damn, I know management says I can't let them leave without them talking to them. So guess what happens? The stalking session starts. Wherever the customer is at, the sales rep is walking right on the other aisle staring at them, just following them. They over there looking at the SUVs. The sales rep is popping up by the SUVs. Hey, can I help you now? They go over there by the Jettas. Guess what? The sales rep is popping out by the Jettas. And you know the customers say, oh my God, why are they following me like this? I told them I didn't want any help. I feel too much pressure. Ah, I'm leaving. When in reality, the sales rep created the pressure by asking them a closed-end question, which is, can I help you? Now let's establish the difference between a closed-end question and an open-end question. A closing question is one where the only response is either yes or no. The reason why it's called closed is because it minimizes communication. If you can answer yes or no, whoop, that's it. Now an opening question is one that generates information. Something like, how does that sound to you? How does that make you feel? How do you feel about that? You know what I mean? Those are opening questions because they generate information. So remember, closing questions, minimize, open in, maximize. Now, the only time you should ever ask a closing question is when you know the only logical response is yes. Because the more times you get your guests to say yes throughout the process, the easier it is for them to say yes at the end. All right? So when you approach somebody and say, can I help you? You run a 50% chance of hearing no. And that's not good for you. And remember, you're paid to help them. So to ask them, can you do what you're hired to do is silly. What's the second silly question that salespeople will say when greeting a guest? How are you doing? How are you doing? Now you may be listening to that and say, Brian, what do you mean how are you doing? How is how are you doing a silly question in a sales process? Everything you say, do, and ask should be leading you to the next step. Now, when you ask a guest, how are you doing? For them to honestly answer you, they have to take a mental trip through that morning, that afternoon, that night, that day before. And seeing as you have no idea what happened in their personal life, guess what? You run a risk of forcing this person to relive a negative experience. And in sales, your objective is to keep them as positive as possible as you progress them through the process. Have you ever greeted somebody whether you work at or you live with, and when you ask this person, hey, how you doing today? They're like, oh, shit, I'm here. Or, you know, case of the Wednesdays. Or, you know, they stubbed, they told, their dog got sick, the car broke down. It's all negative. Okay, so when you do that, you just took three steps back. And now you have to build this person back up to even kill before you even go on with the next step. So to ask somebody, how are you doing, makes zero sense, okay? And also, let me do this exercise with you too. Mo, I need your help for this one. 
Do me a favor, Alvaro, slide your chair over just a little bit that way. Now, Mo, you and I are going to walk towards each other. I'm going to walk on this side, you walk on that side. And when we get close, I'd like you to ask me how I'm doing, okay? How are you doing? I'm glad you asked. You know, I'm looking to lose a little bit of weight. Um, I noticed that my sports coats are tightening up a little bit, and I did lose my hair around 28 and decided to just take it to the baldy. Um, I just had a grandson eight months ago. His name is Grayson. I love him. You know, he is awesome. <laughs> and, you know, some business is going really well, but I'm looking to take it more international. You know what I'm saying? You, you can help a lot more people, and they pay really, really hefty over there. You know, I've been eating a lot of Italian food, eating it kind of late at night when I've been in my hotels, picking up some of that acid reflux. I kind of need to work on that a little bit. And I should be hitting the gym. Now, let me ask you a question. Thank you, Mo. If you were walking down the street or in the supermarket and you asked somebody, how you doing, and they stopped and they started answering you like that, would you think they were crazy? You think they were crazy? You know, most people in my class say they were crazy. Now, let me ask you this question, though. Are they crazy or is the person who asked the question and didn't expect the response crazy? So I want you to think about our society. When you ask somebody, how are you doing? and they actually respond, they're crazy. Ain't this what we do every day? Two people say, how you doing? How you doing? And we just walk right past each other. We just asked each other a question, but we just kept it moving. So you know how we view that question? As just a generic greeting that means nothing. It means nothing. How many times have you said how you doing to somebody and kept walking and never stopped? <laughs> have you done it? We all do it. Okay? And remember, it sells everything you say, do, every step should be leading you to the next step. So as opposed to saying, how you doing, or can I help you, what should be the very first word that comes out your mouth when they hit your dealership? Welcome. 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 What's on the floor mat at people's house? Welcome. Why do you think welcome is on the floor mat at people's home? To help them feel what? It starts with a C. Welcome. Comfortable. Because these people are on high anxiety on the way in here. And they're looking for a reason to disqualify you. And so everything you say, everything you do, the way you dress, how your face look, are your clothes ironed or do you look like you rolled out of bed wearing them? Do, are you groomed or do you look like you just woke up from the bar last night and came in? Do you look like you can afford the product that you are presenting? These are all critical things, okay? So our thing is to get them to lower those defenses immediately. And knowing that nine out of 10 sales reps at different dealerships are gonna say, can I help you, how you doing? And they're going to get, no, I'm just looking, <laughs> or I'm good, I'm okay, or uh. Where when you step up, we step up, we say, hey, welcome to David Moss Volkswagen, or welcome to Orlando Volkswagen South. I'm Brian, you are? Right there, it's separation. You're separating yourself from everybody else they dealt with just in the way you greet off the bat, okay? So that's why welcome is the very first thing we say. Okay? And so after we welcome them to our dealership, we give them our name, right? Why do you think we give them our name before we get theirs? We expect their name. Huh? We expect their name back. We expect their name back. We give our, anything you want to get from your customer, you need to be willing to give it first. You want to get respect, you better give it. You want them to listen to you, you need to listen to them. If you want to get their name, be willing to give it. So we approach, and have you ever noticed that if you approach somebody and introduce yourself, it's a natural reaction typically for someone to roll it back. You'd be amazed at how many times a sales rep approaches a customer on the lot and is talking to them, asking them about their credit, which is garbage, how much money they got, what they're looking to buy today, and guess what? They don't even know their name. So how personable are we if we don't even know each other's name? How much do I really give a damn about you, Mr. Customer, if I didn't even think enough of you to ask you your name? Or I didn't respect you enough to give you mine? Okay? Please realize that welcome, my name is, welcome to, uh, to Orlando Volkswagen South, I'm Brian, you are? Or even welcome to David Moss Volkswagen, I'm Brian, you are? Will carry you very far. Because if you don't greet the right way, you're not going to get them in. If you don't get them in, you're not going to find out what the issue is. You don't know what the issue is, how can you present them with a solution? No solution, no demo drive, no demo drive, no deal. Okay? And so sales isn't this, let me go out and just close them. No, it's a lot of individual and compartmentalized successes that have to take place. Okay? And your objective is to move them from one step to the next. And accomplish your goal at that step to the next. So when you get to the end, you make it easier for them to make that smart, safe buying decision and do business with you here.